Excellent. So, that's another fox down. There we go. There's a vixen. Great. Another one down. So over the past couple of weeks, during the lambing period, I have been using this scope. This is the HIC or Hike Micro, whichever you want to call it, a thermal rifle scope, the Stella. And uh, as you can see, this is a really nicely made scope, very solid looking, real sort of kind of chunky, uh, all metal um, rifle scope. There's no sort of plasticky bits and no sort of cheap feel to it at all. Very nicely made scope. Uh, performance on this scope is very good, very, very clear. You've got all your kind of your, your basic functions are on the eyepiece, much like a lot of these thermal scopes nowadays. You've got 30 millimeter um, scope tubes, so you can use normal day scope mounts to mount it to your rifle. So, your power button is here on the eyepiece. Uh, you've also got standby mode on that. You've got your record button, and you can also take photographs. All of this is saved to the internal memory on the scope and you've also got your color palette mode there. Now, um, power source is via an inbuilt battery which you can charge under this cover. And you've also got in this top turret here, a battery compartment which houses a CR123 battery. Now, be warned, if you use a CR123 batteries, you really want to be using uh, rechargeable batteries or a, uh, a power bank, which you can run through here as well. If you use just standard batteries, you're going to get through them pretty quick. They last about an hour, so you don't get all that long, and they're probably three or four quid a pop. So ideally, um, you really want to be running that off a power bank or um, a rechargeable battery. But in all honesty, the battery that's built into the scope is more than adequate to last a normal night's foxing. There's also a very nice smooth zoom function on this, which is the side wheel on the other side here, here, and that allows you to zoom in and back again. Uh, I believe it goes to eight times zoom, if I remember right. To focus the scope, that's on the front here, a lot like um, a lot of standard day scopes. You've also got a nice, uh, robust looking front lens cap. So the scope itself is very straightforward to use. Um, I've zeroed this in just a few shots. Uh, it's got the freeze function as well on the um, on the zeroing settings, so you can freeze the image and then move your uh, your, your impact point uh, to zero it as you. As usual, I won't go into too much detail about that because you kind of have to read the instructions. It's kind of hard to describe in a video. But yeah, it makes that a lot easier. You've got four color palettes on there. You've got white hot, you've got black hot, red hot, and there's a fusion mode on there as well, which is kind of like a psychedelic -y sort of image. Um, I found it probably works best on either white hot or uh, black hot, depending on the background. You'll also notice on the scope you get quite a high level of definition in the image. Um, it's not just like a white or a black silhouette, or certainly not when it's at kind of sub 100 yards. Um, obviously the further you go out and with the higher magnification, then it does tend to get a little bit grainy, as you would expect from most thermal or night vision scopes. I must admit, I do tend to use this on quite high magnification. I really love that zoom function. I get a little bit carried away. I love to zoom right in on the target. And uh, so it does go a little bit pixelated, but that said, it doesn't stop you precisely aiming your shot. So having had this only a couple of weeks, um, I've only probably shot out to probably about 150 yards. Uh, I haven't really found the need to go much beyond that to be honest uh, what we've been doing around the lambing fields now it's generally a lot sort of kind of closer in work and um, being that it's a thermal scope that's that's kind of the uh, the beauty of a thermal scope is that foxes have no idea you're there so you can get right in close so that's basically a very quick overview of the hick stella thermal rifle scope um, i'll leave you with a bit of footage now so you can uh, just get a gist of, of how good the scope is and for more information on this scope including its specs and everything else visit www.scottcountry.co.uk